All right, so let's see here. What do we got? What's this thing? Oh yeah, I've got this already. Oh, what are these? The thrift yeah, store yeah. looking for toys yeah. more. My name is Burf and this is my Woo. turf. I'm straight out of the thrift yeah. store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf and it's Friday. Friday, baby. It's Friday. And we are on the hunt. We are in Louisville and we're going to be hitting up some thrift stores today typically hit up five i'm debating in my head whether or not i might just do three today i'll let you know as we go along see how i feel so but uh we're in the parking lot of thrift giant in lewisville and we're about to head in there and see what kind of goodies they got now before we do that i do want to give a big shout out to a guy that i follow on tiktok at christopher's collection you guys got to go check him out seriously go give him a follow he has some of the most awesome tiktok toy hunts i've ever seen like i love his freaking channel so go over there it's christopher's collection i'll put the words on the screen right here so uh, of course i don't know maybe it's going this way or is it going that way i don't know but uh anyway christopher's collection uh give him a follow but let's head in here. Let's keep our fingers crossed that we find some goodies today, that we find some vintage, some 1970s, 80s, or 90s vintage. That's kind of what I'm in the mood for. So fingers crossed, as always, thrift gods. Be good to me today. All right, well, let's see what we can find in here today. Let's get the car locked up. Hey, check this out for all you FNAF fans. You know who that is. You know who that is. Five Nights at Freddy's, the puppet. We got a nickname for him in our house. We call him the Pump It. Yeah, so I got me a Pump It t-shirt on right now. But yeah, uh, like I said, my daughter Caroline, huge fan of Five Nights at Freddy's. So we became big fans too. She's been into that since it first came out. So, but anyway, let's head in here and see what they got. All right, well, let's see what they got on the shelves. Well, Thrifty Pants has been producing lately over in the colony let's see how Louisville holds up right now I'm not seeing much of anything there's this dude this guy I've seen I've seen him probably four or five different times here in the stores and uh, he actually sells pretty good pretty quick on eBay all right dinosaur what's this right here oh, it's some sort of Batman Two bucks for that? What? All right, well, let's put it in the cart. All right, and what is this thing? I don't know what this is. What's this? Nothing. All right, we got some sort of dinosaur here. It's got a little head forward action with some snapping. And this is some sort of My Little Pony. Oh, she lights up, huh? Neat. Hey, I spy a T-Rex. Let's pick this guy up. Oh, he's remote control. All right. He's got a rubber head. All right, so this is going to be the only thing we're going to pull out of here today. I'm getting it just for myself. I think it's neat. I like it. And uh, I'm going to look next to my, uh, good next to my Batman playset. Hey, well, good news. So this thing only ended up costing me 95 cents. The $2 sticker wasn't correct, wasn't accurate. Oh, there I am. Um, so I got it for 95 cents. It's kind of a neat little piece. I'll just show it to you here real quick. That way we can get over to Goodwill. You can see him there. It's got a little Batman figure, a little head on the inside like he's flying. So I'll probably get some fish string and just kind of hang it from the playset a little bit. And kind of look like it's like coming in you know i don't know i'll figure it out but let's head off to goody will all right my friends we are here we're out here in the parking lot of goodwill we're about to head in there and see what kind of goodies they got on the shelves and uh i'm hoping that 
I find something truly epic and truly vintage to make up for that loss I had on that Ghostbusters, that vintage 1980s Ghostbusters ghost trap. Still thinking about that one. Still thinking about that one. I gotta learn to just let it go though, you know? But uh, hopefully you can find something in here today. It's a brand new day. There's brand new things on the, on the shelves, I'm sure. And uh, hopefully Lady Luck is on our side. Fingers crossed, as always. Goodwill gods be good to me today. All righty, my friends. Let's see what you got. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Hopefully some goodness. Give me some goodness, Goodwill. All right, well, let's see what we got. Nothing. Man, these shelves are looking pretty weak. Holy crap. This is probably the best thing here right now. This is the best thing going. A little SWAT vehicle with a dinosaur in the back. Man, even the even the plush section is weak. What's this thing? Oh, nothing. All right. Well, since there's nothing here, let's go check those glass shelves. All right. We got anything over here? Great American Revolution. Oh, those are like metal plates. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Check out these hogs up here and these motorcycles. And this family circle book is still here. Yeah, they went 20 bucks for it. Boosted. Man, nothing. It's when Aaron Thrift Giant. There's nothing on the shelves. All right, let's go hit up Thrift City. My friends, we are here. <laughs> now, one thing about Thrift City is they've got bags, they've got shelves, and they got a glass case. So let's head in here and see what kind of goodies they got on the shelves today. What kind of goodies are in the bags, and maybe we'll find some goodies in the glass case. The glass case is usually where the good goodies are. That's where the good goodies are. <laughs> All right, fingers crossed. As always, thrift gods be good to me today. All right, well, let's check this cart. Let's see what's in here. There's like a fireman action figure right there. I'm not gonna pay two bucks for that though. All right, what's up here? Anything? Nope. All right, well, let's check the shelves. See if we can find something interesting on the shelves. There's a Superman, a dinosaur. I'm not seeing anything. Of course, that don't mean much because I didn't see that real Ghostbusters ghost trap either. <laughs> and it was like right in front of my face. Oh, here's a wrestler, but he's uh, missing his arm or his hand. Missing his hand. Is it back there? Yeah, that actually looks like it was like chewed off or something. Anything else? Any other wrestlers? We got a cold bear on in there. Man, I'm just not seeing nothing, guys. Here's this game, Croc and Roll. It appears to be just some sort of like ball you kick around, I guess. Oh yeah, it's got like a, a little arena area that you set up and stuff. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. All right, let's see what we got in the glass case. Mm, not a whole lot. What's down here? Oh, nothing we want. Busted, man, busted. Man, nothing today. There's nothing on the shelf. So I was thinking, you know, earlier of just hitting up three, but we haven't scored anything and there's still two more to hit up. I was gonna, you know, maybe go home early, like thinking I'd be home at like 10.30 or 11, but it's like not even 9.45 yet. We've hit up three stores. So, all right, well, let's uh, 
head on over to the thrift giant on the other side of town and see what kind of goodies they got and maybe they're stocked up on the other side of town you never know that's the thrill of the hunt baby anything over here nope you know i'm gonna do it you're waiting for it busted boosted Still got a smile on my face though. <laughs> I'm just teasing. All right, let's head on over to Goody Will and see if we can uh, finish strong. As coach always said, finish strong. <laughs> Alright my friends, final destination of the day. What you got for me, Goodwill? What you got for me today? Come on, serve me up something. I've worked hard this morning. I've worked hard trying to score. Let's finish strong, baby. Alright, let's see what we got. What are these guys? Nicole would probably think those were cute. Alright. They are cute, actually. <laughs> all right, so let's see here. What do we got? What's this thing? Oh, yeah, I've got this already. Oh, what are these? Oh, Avatar figures, huh? All right. <laughs> we scored something today. Those are neat. I've never seen those before. Let's see. Ace Avatar Maker. Alpha Centauri. Ace. All right, well, I'm gonna pick these up. And then we got this uh, Netflix Super Monsters made by Play School. Anything else? Looks like there's like an evil one back there. Oh yeah, there's Piglet. What else we got? I'm not seeing anything else. There's this, but I don't, I don't want this. All right, anything in the plushies? Doesn't look like it. All right, well, I think we're gonna, oh, what's this over here? What's this back here? Ah, got this guy. He is Jurassic World. I'll have to pick his tag up, but yeah, not gonna get him, but this is the only other good thing on the shelf today. All right, so like I was saying, uh, let's go check out. And then we'll go out to the car, we'll do a little show and tell. We'll take a little closer look at these guys and then we'll wrap things up. So funny. So I go up to the counter and one of them is marked $4.94, but the other one doesn't have a price on it. And the lady goes, this one is $4.94. And I said, yeah. And she goes, and I don't see a price on this one. And I was like, well, I thought they were together, that they were about $4.94 for the, for the pair. And she goes, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, all right, so got them both for $4.94. So let's jump in the car here and take a quick look at them. Okay, so here are the avatars. Take a close look here. Got some war paint there on the face, or I guess that's just their birthmarks or something, right? It's been so long since I've seen this movie. And then we got this dude over here kind of almost have like uh kind of mousy like features in their in their face you know but uh these things are pretty cool i am definitely i'm gonna take him off the off the board there's no sense in keeping him on this thing but i'll definitely remove him and then i'll take some photos for my instagram account which is 80s toys rock by the way and rock is spelled r see well, hey we did it we pulled it off we got a nice little score I actually looked these things up on ebay and one of them like for example like him brand new in the box sells for about 40 bucks um which was kind of surprising and uh so i don't know loose he's probably worth ten dollars maybe so anyway uh i'm glad we ended up finding something today so the whole trip wasn't for uh, you know wasn't a, a total loss but hey if you're enjoying watching this content as much as i'm enjoying making it for you do me a favor smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications 
so you're always first to be notified of the next episode. Also like and comment on this video. Let me know how the thrift stores are in your area or your Target or Walmart shelves. It's been a while since I've been to Target or Walmart, maybe a week and a half. Um, so I don't, you know, I don't know what's new over there. So maybe let me know if you're seeing any new lines hit the shelves. Also give me a follow on Instagram and tickety talk at 80s Toys Rock and rock is spelled R-O-C. In the meantime, I'll catch you on the flip side.